video, I am going to demonstrate an experiment in psychology named Stroop Effect. Those who are in psychology stream are known with this experiment. It was actually introduced by George Ridley Stroop in 1930s. So I am go not going to explain uh, what, are the, what is Stroop Effect or the uh, procedures included in this experiment. Uh, just watch the video, you get an idea about how to build a rapport, how to give instructions to the participants, how to conduct the experiment and how to uh, collect introspection from participants and to debrief the experiment. So you have to watch the video. The materials I taken for this activity uh, included a stopwatch, writing material and uh, a set of 20 words each. The first list of words um, without irrelevant information and the second set consists of words with irrelevant information. So these are the uh, materials I taken for the experiment. So let's move to the video. Good afternoon. Nice to meet you. Nice to meet you too. <laughs> nice t-shirt and nice hairstyle. <laughs> oh, thank you. Actually, my friend says about that. My dressing sense is good. Oh, really? <laughs> I'm just joking. Oh, but there is some truth in it. <laughs> thank you. It's a compliment for me. <laughs> okay. okay. How do you feel right now? I'm just okay. Huh. Hmm. Just okay. That's it. I'm okay. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Then, did you have your lunch? No, actually I am uh, working with my uh, my mates. I have a lot to work. You are government employee, right? Yeah, I am working in the government sector. Okay, okay. Then, um, what are your hobbies in free times? My hobbies uh, to hear music, hmm. watch movies, oh. and the main one is I do travel. Oh, yeah. you love traveling? Yeah, I do travel. Same thing. <laughs> I too love traveling. Okay. <laughs> then, are you comfortable with me? Yeah, yes. This environment, how do you feel? Perfect. Ah. Uh -huh. Okay. Actually, I love this Buddha. Oh. This is my for, uh, personal favorite. Okay, mm. that's nice. So, it's look nice. <laughs> mm. Okay. Then, shall we go to our activity? Yeah, of course. Okay. Then, okay, I will give you some instructions. So, you have to carefully listen to that instructions. If you have any doubts regarding the instructions, you can freely ask to me, okay? okay. Don't hesitate. Okay. Okay, okay. okay, are you okay? okay? Okay, then just listen to my instructions. In this activity, I will give you a list of names of colors. So, you have to call out the colors of the ink in which each word was written. I will repeat. You have to call out the colors of ink in which each word was written. Remember, you should not read the names that are written. Okay. Okay. So, are you clear with the instructions? Yeah, I got it. Okay. You have to read from top to down. Remember, you have to read from top to down. You have to make it fast as possible. Okay. So, let's begin. Okay. So this is this was the first series. You have to call out the colors of the ink in which in each water. Just call out the colors. Can I start? Red, yellow, pink, blue, orange, blue, green, black, red, black, green, orange, brown, green, blue, blue, green, yellow, pink, green, black, red, grey, brown, red. Thanks. Okay, good. Thank you. Then I will give you next set. You have to call out the color of the ink in which each word written. Okay, let's be. Green, black, blue, red, black, red, orange, pink, blue, yellow, yellow, red, black, red, pink, green, blue, grey. Black, red, blue, green, yellow, green, blue. Okay, good. Thank you. Okay. It's all Sharon. Okay. <laughs> Happy. How do you feel uh, during uh, the end of that week? I think it's uh, quite good. I enjoyed it. 
coming to the first set, it's simply uh, easy. easy for me. Okay. And uh, you know that, that the uh, uh, mm. word and the inga matching matching. <laughs> yeah. well, but coming to the second set, it's a little bit tough and but it's also interesting for me. Okay. Uh, it, there is a challenge in it. Uh, okay. Yeah, yeah. Uh, but I, uh, my intention is uh, not to make mistake. Okay. I was going through very um, carefully. I think uh, you don't make any mistake. Uh, also, I took time for that. Uh, for yeah. for uh, for that. Set. Okay. It's fine. Okay. It's good. It's a good experience. Is it a good experience for you? Of, of course, mm -hmm. I enjoyed it. Uh -huh. uh, now I'm going to tell you about this activity, the aim of the activity, and all these things. Okay. Oh. Are you interested to hear? Oh yes, I'm waiting for that. <laughs> okay. Um, the name of this activity was too perfect. As the name indicates, the aim of the activity was also to determine too perfect. I know that you're thinking about oh, what is too perfect? Too perfect is something like a phenomena, like when you have to call out the uh, color of the ink in which the words written, you feel a you feel a difficulty. For example, blue might be written in red ink and you have to call out the ink so you get some uh, confusion there exactly that is true perfect usually the uh, results shows that there will be a delay in time reactions for calling out the uh, color of the ink in which the words are done than for the than for calling out the name of uh, each word okay so in your uh, results also there shows that you take more time to complete the second set compared to the first set so uh, we can, I can conclude that you have also a difficulty in uh, calling out the colors of the ink in which the words were done did you get it or uh, did you get more confused oh my god this much of theories behind this small activity yeah. okay uh, actually um, I doesn't know about these things mm -hmm. but I actually enjoyed it uh, I had a good time with you. Oh, thank, you. thank you for choosing me for this activity. Thank you, thank you for you to uh, for uh, cooperating with all this time uh, with your patient, and I'm very glad to be uh, work with you. Uh, thank you. Uh, it was also a nice experience for me too. Um, anyway, thank, thank you. you.